Hello everybody, welcome. Today's gone. Today it's another mission in the surviving isn't living storyline called You Twisted My Arm. Now this oh, one yeah, is going to be a little bit longer because it involves uh, at least two Got good shit in stock different today. missions. Two or three. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willies, just scavenging, you know. Zombie. Hey, John. You there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with One this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. Brian out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. So I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him you twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your, your shot caller? Handler? No! Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump, you ask how high. It's not how it is. Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at, uh, by Adrian, on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. That yeah, little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, D. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. There it is. Never thought I'd see one of those again. Here I am. Hey, let me know when you watch. Down. Soldiers come out first, they secure the Let me and know when it's clear. Genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell. He comes out, he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? The one who's been spying on. Okay, wait here. You got it. Sound off, people. Lockdown. Clear. Yep, clear. Hey, what you got there, Doc? Really? <laughs> okay, if you must know. 
picking up scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as pernicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Okay, that was uh, the first mission. What do we got here? I can use this. Now I just have to go back to the bike and uh, go meet O'Brien. Catch any of that over my radio? Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she uh, survived. The stab wound she survived. Yeah, yeah, according to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Tumult. Okay, so, so she could still be alive. 
Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're about fast. hordes. Oh, I know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we'd already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Damn it. All things a waste of my time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Okay, this is the uh, third mission. Gotta take a closer. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Uh, this way? Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, Deacon out. All right, what have we got? <laughs> Still got this.
Over here! Jesus. Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are oh, shit. He's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. We just, we can't. We can't do it. Here, here, let me. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the last of them. Oh, you sound disappointed. Well, I just... I hate those sons of bitches, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's, uh... Let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of... I don't know. Like, uh... Like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just... I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shift for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I'd... Oh, hell. You know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. There's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, damn well, your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on. Because you damn really it? don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <clears throat> Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think. I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. 
Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell is your bro? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Sh 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 shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by Rippers. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Damn, Schizo. Guys, come on, keep working, keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. That's it. Hey, thanks for the ride. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. They... Uh... Rippers? Damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Deke, I told you. Just listen. No, Mike. They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure as was? Mike, They're kinda hard yeah. to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. Now, we got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on, and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Now, whatever you say, Mike, whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck, uh, you got a job for me? Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out.
Deke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Cope, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Don't bother trying to find out. You'll get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. I've been watching them skulk around. Thinking they know these woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can re-emerge from their hidey holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. Longer they're here, longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anybody's side. In the world, it already belongs to them. Okay, so that was three missions taken care of, and then we got a bunch of other missions unlocked. So that'll be it for this video. I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. I'd like to encourage everybody else to subscribe, please. And if you wouldn't mind, give me a couple of likes here and there on my videos. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to be notified every time I post a new video, all you have to do is click that notification bell at the top right. Thank you very much for watching. God willing, I'll see you in the next one.